Bismillah Rahman Rahim, dear viewers. Now we will go for analysis and design of our three storied building in Robot Structural Analysis 2020. So, first of all, we will check our design code tools, job preference, here design code. We will go for RCC structure, we will select this one, and for load combination, we will choose this one click on ok now this one save as robot model as per vs code yes now we will go for our load combination here ultimate limit state for design combination we can write shortcut dc1 design combination 1 click on ok here first we will add for dead load so this here factor auto as it is not working we can check here factor as per bs code it is 1.4 for dead load so here this one again we will do we will write 1.4 click on ok for superimposed dead load 1.4 click on ok apply now new one dc5 click on ok this one dc2 design combination 2 click on ok here 1.4 Point four, click on OK. One point four, click on OK. For live load, we'll check live load one point six. Here, this one select one point six. Click on this. Click on apply. Close. So here we have defined load combination one, load combination two for design. Now we will go for meshing option. First, we will go to job preference here. Meshing, we will not select kinematic constraint in coherent points. Click on OK. Go to FE mesh generation. Meshing option. Do you want to perform this operation for all panels? In my model, all panels are floor, so click on yes. Here, complex mesh generation element size 0.3 meter that means 300 millimeter. Here, we will unmark this one regular mesh, it can be irregular also. So, click on OK. Now, we will go for analysis, then go for analysis. So analysis done from here we can remove the extrude view option now we will go for result diagram here we can see the analysis result click on apply it will show in this diagram option we can change this option parameter this we will see in field view we will see the value in text mode so click on apply here if we want to see this result grid wise we can check select this grid then click on edit in new window here we can see our result here fi click on apply fz like this moment moi like this okay we can check deformation also click on apply like this 
deformed shape here we can check animation also start like this click on apply in this way we can explore our analysis result we can check the slab stresses also here from result maps stress xx like this stress yy stress xy we can remove this result from previous diagram this one we can apply then go to map here we can change our loading combination dc1 dc2 here we can see moment mxx mxy m myy now mxy so in this way we can check our slab stresses also you can apply now we will go for our design here if we don't want to see this mesh we can click on this view option model like this we can remove this meshing from our view now we will go to design rc members required reinforcement okay this member all this uls list of cases from here we will select our combination these two close and calculate beams at three points so click on calculate So our required reinforcement calculation finished as per the design code here we can see our diagram now result diagram here we can see our reinforcement reinforcement required at top or for column along width so click on apply we can see the required reinforcement we can reduce the diagram length by increasing the diagram scale 100 millimeter square 200 like this here if we want to see our frames in a specific grid click on that grid then click on new window here we can see our required reinforcement this is in millimeter square so in this way we can do analysis and design in robot structural analysis I can save this one now I will open that model robot model before analysis and design this one I will save as as per IS code save this one now go to job preferences design code RCC IS select here then click on OK this one and load load combination here I will go for same IS code Indian code like this click on OK OK now go to load manual combination here DC1 ULS click on OK 
here all we can select these factors are not coming we will check our factor 1.5 for red for live 1.5 so all we will take it here this one here we will write 1.5 then select all from here the live load we will remove this is only for dead load apply new one dc2 click on ok now here write 1.5 then click on all from here we will remove this load combination so click on apply close now we will go for calculation before going to calculation we need to change our meshing option we can go to fe mesh generation option here click on this yes complex 0.3 here unmark this one click on ok now from here we can delete our local mesh ok now here 0.3 this click on ok now we will run the analysis so this is done now from here we can see single line view if we want to remove this meshing from our view we can click on this now go for result diagram here we can see as previously we have explored like this now go to design rc design rcc member all ULS we will select combination these two close number of point for beam calculation 3 so required enforcement now we will go to result diagram here this one apply go to reinforcement this to top and bottom for beam and for column along width and along the height or longer direction click on apply can check the value here as a text click on apply and scaling we can increase this one 300 click on apply like this we can check a specific grid for example number 3 grid open a new window here we can see or required reinforcement so in this way we can explore our design result also same way we can change our job preference design code to euro code and load combination to euro code and then we can follow same procedure to design our three storey building in euro code same procedure for any other code so thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update